for at least three months after the procedure, you must continue to use other forms of contraception. And even when you get to the three months, we're then going to uh, ask you to do a semen analysis. So we'll give you a pot and a form while you're here on the day and ask you to produce a sample three months later and take that to your local laboratory. And what that sample is going to allow us to do is just to see if there are any sperm left in the uh, semen. If there aren't, we will then issue with what we call clearance, which is when we say to you essentially, the vasectomy has worked, you can now trust it. Sometimes uh, that first test shows a few sperm left behind, but it's nothing particularly to worry about. Um, we might just ask you to continue using contraception for another month or so before doing another test. But the simple rule is that until we've told you your vasectomy has worked, you don't trust it. Exactly, so as Simon said, um, you only trust vasectomy as a method of contraception once we've proven it's worked, and this is proven with a test. Please don't feel that you can um, trust it after three months. We need to do a test to prove it. With reference to f failure rate, uh, one very important uh, point to keep in mind is that vasectomy has got the smallest rate of failure if you compare it with any other method of contraception. So it's uh, by far more effective than women's sterilization, is uh, about 200 times more effective than the pill and by far more effective than condoms. However, like anything else, can fail. And there are essentially two ways that vasectomy can fail. We call early failure and late failure. Um, early failure is when um, after three months time, once we do the test, then we discover that there's still sperm and still sperms in your ejaculate and therefore the, the procedure has not worked. That is because uh, your body's been very good at um, healing and uh, the vas that we've operated on have rejoined quickly. Although this is a bother uh, because we have to do the procedure again, but it's not the end of the world because that's exactly why we do the test. So we're going to test and find out that it's failed and we'll redo the operation for you for free without charging you any money. And the chances of that happening is about, about one in 300 people have a vasectomy, which if you turn it around the other way is a 299, chime, 299 out of 300 chance of it working. I mean, put it this way, we do more than 1,000 vasectomy a year and uh, Sometimes in a year we don't have to redo any procedure and sometimes we'll have to redo one or two maximum. With reference to later failure, this is a very rare occurrence. Uh, however, it happens and we want to make sure that people know about it because like anything else in life, you know, it can fail and if that happens is a relatively bad surprise, I would say. However, it's not something I would lose sleep on. Um, later failure means that at some, some stage down the line, five years, six years after having had a vasectomy, then you can become fertile again and, um, and therefore your partners can get pregnant. Um, having said so, as said, if you compare this one with any other method of contraception, the failure rate is very, very low. Absolutely. So something to be bit bear in mind, but really not anything to too concerned about at that stage.